Thank you for joining us. We are excited to give you an exclusive first look into our new system for the acquisition and processing of Americans' location data. Using the target Mr. Jack Benjamin as a case study, we will explore our system's capabilities in the domestic policing context. As you can see, Mr. Benjamin was flagged as a potential DUI risk. But before we go too far, let's check out all of the background information we can access about our subject. We can track Mr. Benjamin's movements by date, look for patterns in his car travel, even use a heat map to see where he's been. If we view his top locations, oh, looks like lots of nights spent at someone else's private home. Must be a lover, but he left at 3.50 a.m. and didn't return until almost six weeks later. Could be some trouble in paradise? The house is registered to a Mary Smith. If we look at her other visitors, it seems that Mary has a few close friends. Wonder if Mr. Benjamin's aware that a certain Bill Montgomery has spent a few nights with her. But I digress. Let's go back to the main screen. Jack appears to be quite a union activist. We'd better notify our partner George over at Big Corp, just in case Jack has been involved with the trouble they've been having over there. Going back to Jack's lifestyle, we can look at where he tends to be, say between the hours of 2 and 5 a.m., and who is in close proximity during those hours. Well, there's his lover, but who are the others? It looks like they didn't share a bedroom, but we have to wonder what is going on with those other individuals at such a late hour. Police patrol might need to keep an eye on them, too. So far, we've just been poking around, but let's go back to that DUI pattern alert for Jack. If we take a peek at how the system data mined the conclusion that Jack was at risk of a DUI, you'll see four factors. First, there was a social gathering in progress. Click details to see who was there. Second, look at all of their location trails. Two of them stopped at liquor stores. Third, one of the attendees has a prior. Finally, you can see that our live monitoring algorithms identified another attendee's movement pattern as highly suggestive of DUI. No officer was able to reach the suspect in time to administer a test, but his license plate number has been watchlisted for heightened scrutiny. Of course, a DUI is just one of the many possible alerts that the system can generate. There's another alert we received for one Clayton Porter for movement patterns suggesting possible criminal behavior. Upon investigation, the suspect was determined to be a real estate agent. But, folks, that's just a taste of what this powerful new system is capable of. We look forward to working with your department for many years to come in our mutual efforts to keep America a safe and controlled place where no one, no matter where they are, can commit wrongdoing. Thank you. Target lost. Are you still there? Target lost. Are you still there?